everyone, iOS 26, the public beta has just been released. And I went ahead and installed it on my iPhone 16e, which is a fairly powerful iPhone. And I say that to say, even on one of these most powerful iPhones Apple currently kind of sells, it still is fairly glitchy, even on a public beta. So I definitely want to start with the video by saying that. Now, if we take a look at this actual update, it was about 7.72 gigabytes. So it was still a fairly large update. It's pretty big for the most part. And you can see right here, it says iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming you know, apps, features, and technological changes, whatever technologies. 7.72 gigabytes, remember that. If we look at the first beta, whenever that actually came out, I don't even remember when that came out, it was around this time. So the, that was beta three. Basically what I'm trying to say is it's actually smaller in size than the first developer beta that we got, at least on the, one of these iPhones. So the first developer beta was like 8.6 gigabytes, and I know I'm saying that wrong, but now we kind of have it at 7.72. So Apple's kind of slimmed down this update over time. I would imagine when it officially comes out, probably on a majority of iPhones, the average size from iOS 18 is probably going to be around 6-ish gigabytes because they've really like slimmed down a lot of different things. So when we take a look at this particular update, like I said before, what Apple ended up kind of doing is that they've really kind of, since at least the first beta, They've really kind of cleaned out a lot of things, but it's still fairly buggy. So I'm sure everyone already knows the iOS 26 updates, the big ones. One, we have a new design. The UI is a lot cleaner. It's a lot more different. It's supposed to be this clear glass type of design. We, they did end up bringing back, you know, the liquid glass. I do have reduced transparency on, but it still looks pretty good. They have a new camera UI, which is actually really nice. And if when you kind of swipe through, it kind of goes the opposite way. But I think they'll change that in, you know, future updates. The calendar application got a few updates. iMessage got some really big updates because now we can set background wallpapers. We can set up a lot of other things here and there too. And we can even send out polls. And there's a lot of other cool things. There's a new game application. There's this thing, whatever it is. Like there's a lot of cool stuff all across the board. But there are still so many glitches within iOS 26, even in a public beta. And I would not recommend installing this whatsoever, especially now when it's an, even in a beta. In a public beta, more and more people are going to use it. I would not recommend installing it. Number one, when you kind of just go through the whole entire UI, you can just see from the five seconds of me doing things, like it just has a random glitches. When you swipe through and you're kind of going through other things, you're going to see random stuff that just kind of ends up glitching out. My wallpaper on my iPhone is like always glitching out for some reason. So whenever I'm going through, you can see right here, it's just the background is always glitchy. The app icons when I'm swiping through, you know, are loading now, which is surprising, but they glitch up a lot. Sometimes my app icons don't load up at all, which is another big kind of concern. On top of that, when I'm swiping through, you can see right here, it's just so glitchy. That is just so random. I don't know if that's a feature or not, but that's also another really concerning thing. So it's a random stuff like that just on the home screen. But imagine if you're using applications and you're kind of going through, there are random UI glitches all of the time. So I do like the new design. I think things look really nice. You know, it's a really cool type of layout. But even on an iPhone 16e, one of the newest iPhones, one of the most powerful iPhones, you're still going to experience lots of random glitches like that. So what am I trying to say? I'm not trying to hate on iOS 26. I think it's going to get better over time. But in public beta right now, it doesn't make any sense to install it. You are going to run into a lot of glitches and a lot of problems. And even though it is technically, you know, the best version of iOS 26 right now, it still is not worth installing. You're going to have a terrible time with it right now. You are going to have a much better time with iOS and your phone in general if you wait until iOS 26 officially comes out. Because right now, if you install iOS 26, in order to downgrade back to iOS 18, you have to delete everything off of your iPhone and you have to go back to that previous version. So I would not recommend even trying it. If you have some sort of like iPhone that you no longer use in the side, then you know install it if it's supported. Otherwise, I would not recommend installing iOS 26 public beta. But you know, it seems like you know it's a good starting point for a public beta. In terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.